Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Earlier you saw how we downloaded XAMPP and installed in Kali Linux. So here my XAMPP is running. It is, uh, you can find XAMPP in OPT folder when you go to file system and then go to OPT LAMP. And here we have that file manager x64.run that we need to uh, actually change the permission also if uh, we don't have permission we have to give uh, plus x ch mode plus x that you can see in my earlier video and this i have started the manager using sudo command manager x64 run and it will run uh, xamp and I have started Apache web server and MySQL for database started. You can start all, stop all or select a particular and then start stop. So this is it. And then next we are going to visit BWeb. I also uh, show you how we can download uh, Mutilated 2 in my per, uh, previous video, which is a vulnerable web application to learn about the security risk or uh, OWSP top 10. So BWeb is also another buggy web application that we can, so we just type BWeb in Google and then go to downloads. Here we do, uh, two, we have two, one is BBox, we don't want that. And we're going to download this. When you click it, actually opens we just show you when you click this and it will open and take you to source force and then you have to click on downloads the version you can see is 2.2 zip file 15 mb around uh, when you click downloads again it will ask you uh, this you will see that uh, the file may contain malware and we have to ignore because it is the uh, Vulnerable, vulnerable web application we can ignore that and download click on download so when you click on download it will start the download process and you can see it's started downloading here i'll just stop i have already downloaded the, the file so i'll just go to uh, my downloads folder and actually i need to move it to this location here in this location HD docs under OPT lamp HD docs uh, I need to move so earlier video you saw how I moved uh, mutilated to also so now we are going to move it here but for that I will open a terminal and create another folder directory so I've just log in as root user now type my password and I'm logged in as root user. So now I have to move that file from downloads to this location. So for that, I will also go again uh, to downloads folder and open another terminal here. So I cannot move directly like cut and paste because of lack of permission. So I'm using terminal. If I do ls, so I'm going to move it here and also I have to create a directory actually. I'll create a directory called mkdir1 directory1. You can see directory one is successfully created here and I'm in downloads folder now and then I'm going to sudo move and type the bweb zip file name and then location will be opt lamp hdoc1 with sudo command and press enter type my password and now you can see from downloads it is automatically moved to uh, 
this part lamp htdoc1 so i'll close this terminal now and go back to htdoc here we'll change directory to one and to ls and you can see it is moved successfully now i'm going to unzip and it's successful so i have i have logged in as a root user remember if you are not logged in then you have to use uh, if you're not logged in as root uh, you have to use sudo command i'll go to that directory it's the docs one directory that we created and this is the bweb we moved from downloads folder and then unzipped it and this is the file uh, bweb so now actually we have to give uh, a permission to this bweb and for that i'll go again to terminal ls and this is the file you need to give permission giving uh 777 permission to this folder and then ls minus l you can see the permission is given to this folder all the permission 777 and now we will change directory to b web inside the b web directory we have so many files you can see Web. so first we will open browser and then go to this uh, local host press enter and it will redirect to our XAMPP and in XAMPP we have to type one directory name and then the web so I have created the one directory that is why one and then B web the name of the directory where it is moved that is uh, this directory so inside one bweb so i'm going to this bweb directory bweb this is the directory and now you can see login uh, nothing is coming here so i'll just go and click on i mean uh, move go to install and in install i'll just click install and it doesn't install so that is the issue actually now what we can do for this is go to uh, admin here we have the admin uh, directory change directory to admin and here we have settings.php we'll use mouse pad use settings.php in settings.php uh, if there is some password here you, ne you need to uh, make it blank like no we don't want any password username will be root and server is localhost so if it is like this you don't have to do any uh, modification leave it as it is next we're going to one step behind and we are in opt lamp htdoc1 folder in bweb here we have to edit the settings.php uh, not settings okay uh, mistake install.php so we're going to edit that install.php and we have to go to this check if database w web already exists so here this uh, we will change uh, i mean uh, we don't require this like give a backspace and now we are going to save this file 
and then close so this is done now we'll go to install we'll refresh the page and try to install and nothing happens again so we will refresh the page again and create a bweb database so for that we'll go to localhost and type php my admin so in php my admin we will go to databases in databases we'll create a database called bweb so we will create the database and then we'll create the database is successfully created now we will go to install and then refresh this page and click install and as you can see bweb has been installed successfully now you can go to bweb and it will redirect to login.php and in login we can uh, set the security level high medium low we will start with low and the username is b and the password is bug it is b and the password is bug and then we'll log in don't save so this way we were able to download and install bweb which is a extremely buggy web application and we can practice uh, we can choose different bugs like a1 injection html injection ldap command injection etc from here and then hack and set the uh, severity i mean or else we can select from here like for example we want to practice uh, maybe sql injection login then we'll select that and then click on hack it will go to that page actually oh if this is not working maybe uh, i'll try this one and yeah so this is or we can go with from here like html injection click on hack and here we have html that we can select uh, reflect i mean get request request so in my upcoming video i will demonstrate or walk you through this and thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you faced trouble installing buggy web uh, bweb 2.2 uh, version which is the latest one and then you can follow this video and successfully install it to practice your web application skills uh, understand about web application risk to secure them so thanks for watching.